Kay with Survival Dispatch here. Today I want to talk to you about some fire starters from Pure Fire Tactical. I've tested probably every fire starter known to man, or at least the ones that I'm aware of that I could find. And I came across this, I met the owner, uh, Bobby Lynn, at uh, one of the preparedness shows. And he gave me a sample of one of the lights to go test out, and I fell in love with the thing. Uh, his magnesium is the highest quality, really super soft, easy to, to remove it. If you get the little magnesium bars made in China that we see everywhere, that stuff is really, really hard. The dust is really fine, and, and it's hard to get a fire going with. So he has three different models. Uh, the first one is this, this big guy here. I don't know the names of them. But I ordered three different samples because uh, some of my students were asking about what are the other options and that sort of thing. So he, this is how it comes. He provides you with a piece of fat wood and a striker. And he has pre-shaved magnesium on a piece of duct tape, which the duct tape also will act as an, a fire extender. So this receptacle, you could put other things in as well. It, it's really big, and some people may think, well, why would I want something that large? Uh, in, in extreme cold environments, I could see a use for this. You know, if you're wearing mittens, or if you didn't have gloves and your hands are freezing and numb and all of that, this is better to manipulate. So this might be something kept in a car kit or your rucksack or whatever. Uh, it's a good one. I've done a few test strikes on it. It strikes super easy. The magnesium just, just comes off like nothing I've ever seen before. So that's one model. The second one is this guy, again with the fat wood and the striker, it's all banded together. And it has, uh, has the magnesium shavings with it as well. He provides you with that when you order the kit. And this one has a little lanyard on it. And the striker is attached to the lanyard and there's sufficient space there so that you can come over and do your work. So that's one option. That's probably the one that I like the best for, say, everyday carry, pocket carry, or fit it in a little pouch, stick it on your belt, that sort of thing. That would be pretty easy to carry. This bag is my fire bag that I actually took out of my rucksack. And this is what I carry when I go into the field. If I'm carrying some type of a ruck with me, this is what I have. I like the dry bag. I like it in a bright color because it could double for signaling and that sort of thing. I generally always will capitalize on tinder. So this is some tinder that I got while we we're out in the field yesterday to replace the last stuff that I use. And there's enough there for probably two, three fires if, if I use it sparingly. I have some of the Yuko survival matches in their match safe. Uh, if, if you've not had the opportunity to check out the Yuko matches, you really want to look at those. They're amazing. I mean, you can put them out, cover them up with dirt, Take them back out, it's boom, like a trick birthday candle. They, they come back on. There's like 25 matches in here. So that's a good addition to have. And it, it's pretty lightweight. I'm generally not a fan of matches, but I figured why not have them. And this is a little homemade fire starter, you know, out of your egg crate with your lint and wax poured over it. Burns an amazing amount of time. And that's kind of my worst case scenario day. And you can see the wick sticking out there. You know, if I get out in a situation and it's been raining for a week and now the snow's blowing sideways and everything is drenched and I'm tired, that, that might be what I go to on the worst case scenario type thing. I do have a small tin here with some char cloth in it. And this is the other fire starter that he makes. It kind of opens like a folding knife. It has a magnet inside which holds your striker and then you have this big handle that you can get a hold of. Uh, I really like it, and that's why it's the one that's in my ruck. So three different options of what I personally believe, and I don't have stock in the company. Uh, I met the guy, I tried his stuff, I really liked it, and I'm recommending it to you because it's what I actually carry, and it is the only fire starter that I recommend to my students because once you've used these, all the other stuff just looks like junk to me. Uh, the magnesium, and we'll go ahead and scrape some so you can see what I'm talking about. Super high quality, stuff just comes off super easy. If you've ever seen one of the cheap ones, like say Walmart, you know, you don't get that type of quality of a magnesium shaving off of those. They're much smaller, and these come off actually like curls with very little energy. Uh, the ferro rods are also top quality. Really hot sparks, 
really little energy, but they're not so soft that they degrade quickly. They've got a lot of longevity in them and I really like them. So check them out. It's, uh, I think the name's Purifier Tactical. Uh, he's based somewhere in Florida. Great guy, does it himself. I think he makes all his own thing, kind of a, like a business out of the garage type situation. But once I found these, I fell in love with them. So I wanted to, uh, to introduce them to you for your consideration and I hope you like it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and we'll see you next time.